All right, today we're going to be measuring mass using a triple beam balance. When you measure mass, you always make sure that your triple beam balance is starting at zero, making sure your measurements are at zero and your line here is balanced or it's um, at the zero. Okay, we're going to measure this water bottle. Okay. When you're measuring, you need to make sure that um, you start with the hundreds, the largest one, it's in the middle. Okay, and it still hasn't gone down. Okay, so it's not moved. Okay, that means that it's too much. So I'm gonna go back to 300. Next, I'm gonna move my tens. And I'm gonna move that one until, to see how far that will go. Right at 50. Okay, so but 60 is too much, so I'm gonna go back to 50. Now I'm gonna go to my ones and all the way to the tenths. Okay, still too much. A little too much. So I'm gonna make sure that it's still it's balanced in the middle. So there it is balanced in the middle. So when I read this, I'm gonna read it as 351 and 7 tenths. So when I write that on my paper, I'm gonna use this top for my hundreds. So I'm gonna write 300. I don't have any um, tenths Place, so I'm just going to write zero and then I'm going to write my 50 and zero tenths then I'm going to write in my ones place which is one and it's seven tenths so I'm going to write my tenths place with my decimal then I'm going to add them together I'm going to start on the right side and add them together So my total is 351 and 7 tenths. It's important to make sure that you write a unit at the end. So right now we're measuring in grams. So it's 351.7 grams. Now we're going to measure a stapler. I want you to measure this on your own and read the triple beam balance. Don't forget to start with the hundreds and then move to the tens and then to the ones and making sure that you focus on the one tenths. While you're reading this, if you need to pause the video, please do so. Now we're gonna measure a rock. Please be careful when you're reading this and notice that there are zero in the hundreds. Okay, again, if you need to pause the video um, to read this, please do so.